Hey guys, it's Lou. It's just me tonight. Ralph is currently out jamming with Fringe. So, that was really weird. I feel like it has been so long since I've done this. I've missed you guys. Have you missed me? The last video uh, was just Ralph and now it's just me. But I swear, we're still together. We're just, uh, we're still together. We, uh, we're getting adjusted to uh, kind of a new schedule because I just started a new job last week. It involves waking up at 5 a.m. to grab the six o'clock bus. It's good, good times. Which brings us to the topic of the video, which is not owning a car. That's right, folks. Ralph and I do not have a vehicle. We do not own a car. What you're thinking right now is probably one of two things. One, Oh, I feel so sorry for you. You don't have a car? Oh, you must be broke. You're probably poor. You don't have any money. You can't afford a vehicle. I feel sorry for you. You don't have a life. How do you get around? Okay, right? And the second one, which is, wow, you guys don't have a car? That's smart. You're probably saving hundreds of billions of thousands of trillions of dollars every year. And you're carbon footprint is probably so big. It's usually one of the two, but I really don't care what people think. I just think it's kind of funny. So with that being said, we have not had a vehicle for two years now, and it's been relatively easy. We lived, at the time, we lived downtown, well we still do, but we worked downtown as well, so there's no point in us really having a vehicle and having to spend money on the gas and the maintenance. Insurance, I don't even remember what you have to pay for anymore. Um, but it was basically just a conscious decision that, you know what, this doesn't make any sense and we could use the money too, so forget it, we don't need a car. But it has worked out really great for us. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about was the questions that people ask us when you don't own a car. Questions we hear a lot are, how did you get here? Why don't you have a car? How are you getting home? Did you borrow someone's car? Do you need to ride home? Did you drive? Did you bus? Did you guys hitchhike here? Yeah. You need a car. How did you get here? You should get a car. I'm leaving soon. Do you want to come with me? Is that your car out there? <laughs> Just kidding. How are you getting home? How'd you get here? You can come with me. Do you want to come with me? Did you walk here? You walked here? Do you need a ride home? You should have a car, why don't you have a car? Do you need a ride home? Did you bike here? Why don't you have a car? You biked here? What? <laughs> you can bus? You took the train here? You can bike? You got a random guy in Kijiji to drive you here? That's creepy. Oh, we actually did that once. Do you guys need a ride? I think that's kind of pretty much it. And for the most part, the questions are just people offering to help, whether it's offering to drive us home or whatever. The most famous one is, how'd you guys get here? How did you get here without a car? That, that's it for now. I just, it was something that was on my mind today while I was sitting on the bus because I take a 45 minute commute on a bus. So great. And that's it in terms of transit. So, boom. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Um, I guess we'll see you on Monday when we post our, our weekend vlog. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, bye guys, talk to you later. Bye.